Hi, this is Sounds Like Rabbits. Today we're starting off our video with the question, why is it called pixie dust if they're fairies? In folklore, pixies and fairies are two very different creatures. Pixies are more vibrant color, uh, have more vibrant colors, uh, look kind of gangly, uh, have a small butterfly-esque wings, pointed ears, and are tiny. Fairies, on the other hand, look uh, just look like tiny magical people with large, clear wings. Pixies, by nature, are mischievous, playful, and rude. They tend to be pranksters, but will fight for those they care about. They love new clothes and will wear them uh, until they fall off. They tend to live in gardens, and their lives, uh, lifespans reach up to 20 years. Their diet consists of bugs and nectar, and it's hard to tell if they have genders. Fairies, on the other hand, are more powerful in wielding magic. They are naturally uh, much calmer and elegant, wearing beautiful little outfits. They are more often than not female. They grant wealth, health, and intelligence to those they like. They defy nature and can live underwater or hills. They live uh, up to 100 years and, la uh, and last. Uh, their diet consi uh, consists of berries, dairies, and sweets. Pixies will often fight fairies who get a little too close. In folklore, fairies are t normally like six inches, whereas pixies are four. Disney fairies average about five inches, another side effect of using the pixie dust. Fairies come in both male and female, uh, which makes it entirely possible that they can have babies. You can see that they have that desire. Sometimes you can be pretty, t pretty, so pretty. Hi. <gasps> Hello there. I'm Sled. Oh my, that's perfect. Oh. <laughs> I'm Rosetta. Rosetta, <gasps> that's beautiful. Why, I didn't know they were going to do the smoochy smoochity. Plus, they are under the impression that pixie dust is the only way to make fairies. In folklore, they actually did have babies and would often switch dying ones out for healthy uh, uh, human ones. We think pixies can't, that's why there's pixie dust to begin with. Two of the three articles we read agreed that pixie, uh, pixies had nature powers while fairies granted HWI. F uh, pixies also tend to live in larger groups while fairies are a little more spread out. Uh, but then why does the pixie fairies live in Pixie Hollow? Why do they have nature powers but can't make Peter Pan smarter? Why are their ears pointy or their wings smaller? It's possible that the writers just blended the two together, maybe even unintentionally, but Jay and Barry may have started that. We, on the other hand, have a much darker in-story reason. When Tinkerbell is born, she has pixie dust dumped on her head. She meets the queen, who uses it excessively, and has butterfly wings that are also a few sizes too small. We think that the pixie dust is affecting them into looking more like pixies, because it wasn't meant for fairies. I suspect that fairies could dribble regular, harder to make fairy dust on them and get the same results. Pixie dust just practically makes itself. Both are known for being short-sighted about the future. What we think happened was this. The Pixies created Pixie Hollow as their home, hence the name, and because it's a massive garden. They made Pixie Dust to help them with their powers and their numbers because they couldn't have babies. They would often pick fights with random fairies they came across. One day, a fairy who had had enough rallied all the other fairies to go to war because the fairies at the time were... Uh, because the fairies at the time were much more powerful. Seeking the greatest and most elusive prize of all, a fairy. Oh. They chased her, captured her, and forced her to lead them to the most magical treasure, the enchanted mirror of Encanta. Forged by fairy magic in ages past, the mirror had the power to grant three wishes. They quickly chased them off. The pixies, with no access to the pixie dust, started dying off, essentially being chased off into extinction. It's possible that the early fairies made the moonstone as a peace offering once uh, before, but the pixies ran off with them after the war in the hopes of rebuilding. That's why. That moonstone is the only one found in the last hundred years. Oh. It's possible that the fairies weren't very good uh, record keepers before they occupied Pixie Hollow. 
because of the way the pixie dust worked, it gave them pixie attributes and mentalities, and why they're lumped into nature talent groups. The tinkers being the closest to the original fairies because they're intelligence based, something pixie dust can't recreate. It might he'd also explain uh, why they're so much more powerful uh, they're so uh, why they're so much more powerful when their uh, powers are swapped. <laughs> Except for the Tinker Talent. Ooh, there's got to be a way to. Ah. Excuse me, rope. Hmm. Structurally sound enough. Strength to weight ratio seems good. If I had some rope. Fairies use pixie dust excessively. Due to how reliant they are on pixie dust, they have become weak. They have lost their own powers and have only have the, half the strength of the pixies. The garden fairies can only handle like ten plants at most, showing the work. Er, and slowing the work, forcing them to work through the winter months. Most fairies being super picky about what they, uh, what they take care of, leaving most of nature to care for itself. They also feel they, can f they, can, uh, they can't fly without it, but they, uh, they can, they just don't know how. It's possible that without it, their wings would get bigger naturally. Tinkerbell is a good example of why they don't need it to fly. If you watch her wings closely, you can see the, uh, that she can fly short distances without it, but because of how she flaps her wings, resting butterfly style, she can't get very far. The fast flying fairies have massive wings, but they also lose the most pixie dust in a short amount of time. You can actually see that Vidya naturally does fla uh, uh, full flaps. You never see that with any other talent. Uh, they all flap their wings as if they're at rest, only uh, doing it rapidly to build speed. Their wings are extremely fragile due to this reliance. They can't fly aim when their wings are wet because of the pixie dust. It tends to retain water, making them heavy. Explaining why pixies don't live underwater. And that's what I got. Now comment down below. If fairies come from baby's laughter, where do pixies come from? See you next time. Bye. Bye.